Hello everyone, this is the Green Snake Gamer playing the SpongeBob SquarePants movie, level 2, I'm Ready, Depression. Continuing where we left off, we learned that SpongeBob was not named the manager of the new Krusty Krab. So he's really depressed about it and came here. For this level, we will be playing as Patrick. Here we have a new enemy. This enemy attacks us with poison gas, so just avoid walking into it. Now just like before, make sure to collect all the weights you can find in order to gain points to upgrade your attacks and abilities. Now we're already at full health, so we don't have to worry about healing. Now make sure you collect the weights first, above the boxes, before you break them. Now we just need to ride this platform up. SpongeBob is amazing at dodging. So here we have another new enemy that swings a broom at you. So just try to avoid their swings and take them out quickly. Now press this button to activate these bounce platforms so we can bounce across. Now, here we have a tent. These tents will keep spawning enemies. So the only way to stop them is to destroy the tent first. Just make sure you get away from it once you attack it because it will explode. Now, over on the wall, you can see there are four switches. Can you hear me now? So right now we're doing Sponge on a Wire, but this one is called Up Chocolate Creek. We can't do this challenge yet. We don't have the right power-up we need in order to activate these switches. So we're gonna have to come back to this level later once we get the right power-up we need. Just keep that in mind, that we will have to come back to this level. Here we reach a checkpoint. Now make sure you jump down here. You'll see this closed door. Attack the door, and behind it is a treasure chest. Now for this level, we have two treasure chests to collect. This is the first one.
Now to continue, you need to use Patrick in order to swing across. Now we need to get some more Goofy Gooper tokens in order to unlock the cartwheel move. Now there are two ways to go. We can go for this challenge on the left or go to the right. Now I'm gonna start by going to the right. Now for the right, this will be an ounce of bounce, a challenge for Goofy Goober token, and the other way on the left is a combat arena challenge. So we're gonna start with an ounce of bounce, which is this way. Now this challenge is really easy. All you need to do is use this bounce platform. Bring them to. And you bounce all the way to the top and collect the Goofy Goober token. <laughs> and this completes the objective an ounce of bounce. Now we're going to do this challenge, the Combat Arena Challenge. Now for this challenge, we have to defeat all enemies. So we have three waves of enemies. The first wave is 30 enemies. Now these enemies puke the toxic gas, so just avoid them. Now a good way to take care of a lot of enemies quickly is to knock them into each other. So when you get them all gathered together, it's very effective at dealing a lot of damage and taking care of a lot of enemies. That's the first wave done. Now for the second one. This time we have to defeat 40 enemies. Now this time, some of those enemies with the brooms have been thrown in to make it a little harder. Now make sure you stay close to the center of this arena. Don't go to the edge because you can get knocked off the ledge. And as you can see, there's plenty of health around too if you need it. So 
Okay, the final wave. This time we have to defeat 50 enemies. This completes the objective and gives us the Goofy Gooper token. to the objective combat arena challenge. So let's talk to Mindy. Okay, Patrick. Since you've brought me enough goofy goober tokens, you may now use the cartwheel move. Time to spin? You better get going, Patrick. There's lots to do. Coming through. So now we can continue ahead. Now make sure you collect the weights first before you break these boxes.
Now to continue ahead, all you have to do is hit both of these switches. Now I have enough points to buy an upgrade. So I'm gonna do, do the same thing I did for Spongebob, and go ahead and give Patrick another bar of health. Oh boy! Another Krabby Patty! It's always good to have a little extra health to help you out. Well, this running sure is making me hungry. Oh, slidey stuff. Now in this room, we're going to have to use the cartwheel move. You'll notice all these crates lined up in a row. Use the cartwheel move and make sure you break every single crate as quickly as you can, all in a straight line like this. This will make a treasure chest appear. So this is our second treasure chest, and now we got all of those taken care of and collected. So now we just need to ride this platform up, and then bounce across using these bounce platforms. Now make sure you jump over to this ice cream tree, up here are some weights to collect. Now here we have some enemies to take care of, but before you focus mainly on them, if you look over you can see there's a tent. So if you don't take care of the tent, it will just keep spawning enemies. So make sure you hit both these switches. This will create a platform that will allow us to get over to the tent. Now get away from it before it explodes. And ahead of us, you can see a Goofy Goober token. And by collecting it, this will complete Sponge on a Wire. However, you can see there's one more objective that we haven't seen yet. If you look to the left, you can see this changing booth. Use it to switch to SpongeBob. Now behind the Goofy Goober token, there's a place where we can use Spongebob to wall jump up. up now up here, we do not have the ability we need to do this challenge. So we're gonna have to come back for this one. So we can't collect these two Goofy Goober tokens yet. We have to come back later in the game. So just keep that in mind. 
to say about that. Off to see the world. Again. So I'm gonna go ahead and collect this Goofy Cooper token and end the level. Patrick, I've been trying to find you all evening. Uh, it's eight in the morning, SpongeBob. Oh my gosh, eight o'clock. I am late for work. Mr. Krabs is gonna kill me. Oh, Mr. Krabs. Back at the Krusty Krab, King Neptune confronts Mr. Krabs about his alleged thievery. He asks if there is anyone present who may vouch for Mr. Krabs' character. And our yellow knucklehead McSpazitron shows up to accuse Mr. Krabs of being a horrible person. King Neptune zaps Mr. Krabs, causing SpongeBob to sober up quickly. He selflessly volunteers to journey to Shell City and retrieve the king's crown. Freezing Mr. Krabs in place, King Neptune grants a six-day reprieve so SpongeBob and Patrick may attempt to retrieve the crown. King Neptune's daughter Mindy provides SpongeBob and Patrick with a magic mirror through which she can communicate and assist our heroic duo. We continue as SpongeBob and Patrick arrive at the paddy wagon. SpongeBob, Patrick, it's time to start your journey. Drive the paddy wagon through Bikini Bottom to the edge of town. This road will take you through Bikini Bottom to the edge of town. Don't let the paddy wagon take too much damage, or you'll have to start again. Our journey begins. Epic, heroic, daring, valiant, courageous! SpongeBob, you're driving a sandwich. Not just a sandwich, a Krabby Patty. With cheese! Now I'm gonna go ahead and save my game. And this will be the end of the SpongeBob SquarePants movie, level 2, I'm Ready, Depression. <laughs>